Hey everybody, it's uh, these last couple videos were all shot at once, so wearing the same shirt, same hat, same beard. Um, but I wanted to show you my rocket stove. I haven't tried it yet, but what I'm going to do is show you how I built it, what we have here, and then uh, I'll take some videos of food cooking, hopefully later today if it's not pouring rain. Here it is. Here's the rocket stove. All you see is it's a bunch of bricks piled up and around. And it's basically a just a box, a brick box with an opening in the front. And you're going to make your little fire right on top of there. And then you can imagine the heat will rise and we'll put stuff up on top and cook that. I found somebody throwing out an old grill. So I went and grabbed the cast iron grates off of it. I had a whole bunch of leftover bricks and I had that awesome stone on the bottom. The wood underneath is just to, to keep it off the ground and uh, actually to level it up a little bit. But see, so you put that bottom grate in there and the theory is when you put the wood on top, the air will be able to flow from underneath. And that way you don't just have a stuck fire sitting on the bottom. Then as the ash passes through and this all finishes, I left a hole in the back. That way I could just push all the air back or get the hose, uh, sorry, push the ash with air, or just get the hose and literally wash it right out the backside. So we'll see how it goes. I'm going to get this fire roaring here and uh, throw some chicken thighs on. I'll show you guys how it's working. Okay, so we're cooking. So we got our grate up here and everything is, we got our chicken thighs on. Looks to be cooking just fine. Nice big flame. And we got our open fire in the back there. The fire's a little tricky to manage because sometimes you get some hot spots on the back and front but once you get a few of the bigger logs in there the heat's real nice and seems to be cooking real well. So chicken's on there. We got a nice draft coming through. See the hole in the back that I left? Yeah. The boys are being pretty good. Helping I suppose. But let's see. I'm gonna flip our chicken over here and see how we did. A little a little dark, but who doesn't like meat well done? And not me. Let's see. Not me. You don't like chicken well done? No. Do you like chicken well done? No. <laughs> All right, not, looks like we got a successful start here. Well, anyway, I think it looks pretty darn good. And you can see if I look down, fire seems to be cooking pretty even. Right now, it's definitely a little warmer towards the back, maybe because of the, the heat shield I put in or something, but maybe just because the, the sticks seem to be burning a little hotter towards the back, which makes sense. Anyway, so far so good, and uh, I think we're going to have some nice chicken to eat tonight. So thanks for watching. Good luck with this, and Whoa. again, just to way it operates, just keep feeding the fire in the back. Let it get real hot, burn down, and then uh, just make sure you got some big enough sticks in there to, to burn. But looks like it's working all right. After a couple tests, I bet we'll be able to make some real nice food on here. All right, have a great day.